In this episode, we're talking all about the four core tips that you can deploy to find a mentor, and we're starting right now. Hey, 1% Nation, I'm Jake Voorhees, and you're watching the 1% Engineer Show, where we empower young engineers to rise to the top 1% of their career. If this is your first time here, guys, make sure you subscribe because I release videos two times a week for engineering success. If you want the 1% Engineer Kit, follow the links below, and if you have any questions about your engineering journey, leave a comment. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video about how you can find a mentor. After this video, you're gonna have four core tips so that you can find the right mentor for you and be successful in your career. The first thing is why it's important. The second is which industry to target. Third is to identify what mentor might be the right fit for you. And four is the actionable takeaways that you can do so that you can actually create this mentor mentee relationship. So really quickly, number one, why is mentorship so important? Mentors can provide insight, experience, and knowledge around a subject area that we aspire to know more about. They can give us advice to avoid mistakes that they have made and give us the courage to experiment and learn and fail along the way because that's important to grow. So that's the point. We're trying to spend more time with a person who is already in the position that we are trying to get to ourselves. So now that we understand why this is important, which is tip number one, Tip number two is how to identify which industry we should focus on in order to go out and find the right mentor. And that starts with understanding what you want for your career. I know this is really hard. This is one thing that as a mentor myself, I get so many questions about. This is my core tip for this. Do not try to forecast what the job market might be like. Don't try to follow a mentor that is in a career path that you think will be good and think will be successful. You have to follow your heart and audit your life. Inspect the stuff that gets you excited right now. Wow. Where are your interests? Where are your passions? What do you find yourself Googling about, watching videos about, reading things about? If you're getting really excited about robotics, maybe that's a career for you, or programming, or aerospace engineering, or maybe it really is being an astronaut. You have to really think about what is getting you most excited right now, and start down that road and allow this to evolve over time, and just be confident that it's okay. It's gonna change, but you have to listen to your heart today. That's the best you can do. So once you've done tip number two, now you can actually strive to find that mentor who's in the industry that you believe is the right fit for you. And there's a bunch of ways to do this, but here's the hierarchy of importance where you should start to find this person. And it starts with your friends and family. Mentors are very busy people. They're doing a lot of things. They don't have a whole lot of time to help out people like us. So if your family or friends of your family or a teacher or someone that you already know can help connect you to someone in that industry, a professional that you want to learn from, they will be much more likely to give you you their time. So ask your family, ask your friends. And even if they don't know that robotics engineer or if they don't know that astronaut, they might know someone who works in that sphere and that person can create a chain reaction of communication to help you find this person. Start with your family, start with people who already know you. The next hierarchy would be to join organizations like this one, the Mars Generation, who can maybe create connections for you to find these people. Build relationships with people in the Student Space Ambassador Facebook group. Reach out to the board members for the SSAs. Reach out to the board members of the organization itself. These people might be able to connect you. Because you're a part of this organization, again, you have something in common with these people that are going to be more likely to help you out and connect you with that person that you seek. So look for other clubs, other organizations, subreddits, just groups of people online who you can potentially network with and can potentially connect you to these mentors. If you can't find anyone that's a friend or family member or someone within the Mars generation or within these other online communities, then you're gonna have to find this person yourself. And here's my tips for doing that. Start researching the university programs, the companies, start figuring out the types of places where these mentors that you're looking for might work, might already have affiliations with, and start generating a list of people to reach out to. And when you reach out to these people, send them an email, Talk about how you follow their work, you're connected to the industry, add value to that conversation, don't ask for anything, and some of these people will respond, and these are the people who you can build a relationship with over email, and tell them about how you're very passionate about having a career in this industry that they're in, and maybe they can connect you to someone, or they can give you more insight about that career, and eventually become your mentor. But it starts with reaching out to someone, whether it is a family member, or someone associated with the Mars Generation, or maybe this 
cold contact that you've generated. Talk about the work that they do, the research that they're involved with, whatever. But show that you're ambitious and that you've done research on this person. You've done a lot of research in this industry because that's what's gonna get this person to respond. That's what's gonna get this person excited to help you and be a part of your career trajectory is that your passion, you're leading with why. Why do you wanna be a part of this? Why should this person give you their time? A lot of young people, they miss this. They talk about, well, what I wanna do, if you start with passion and how you wanna have a good impact, how you want to have a positive impression in that industry, they're going to want to help you because that's what people really want to do is have a positive impact in someone else's life, especially if they're young and especially if they're going to be a game changer and go out there and change the world. And once you've done all that, it seems like a lot of work, but it's worth it. This is tip number four, some things that you can do to have a successful relationship with this person who is becoming your mentor. You need to give as much as you get. Try to add value to that person's career, that person's world. Volunteer to help them with whatever you can do. Mention the skill sets that you have. If you like to write, if you like to create graphics, if you like to draw, if you like to create any sort of content, if you like to research articles, if you like to mess around with data, if you like to code, if you like to build robots, whatever, there's some skill set that you have and some way to be creative with that to help this person with their career, to be a part of their world, and just offer. Offer to add value, guys. That's what you really want to do with this relationship. Help them as much as possible on the front end, and you will find that over time they will help you so much more throughout the evolution of your relationship. So offer. What can you you do to add value to this person's world? What skills do you have and interests do you have that can offer something to them? And the next thing you have to do is to advocate for yourself via communication. This person is busy. You have to be the one to reach out via email. You have to be the one that suggests you get on the phone. Or if you're in the same area, you guys can have lunch together once a month or once every two months, but you have to advocate for the relationship. You can't just sit back. Again, this person is so busy. You have to be the one that's reaching out. You have to show that you're ambitious. You have to show that you want this relationship to grow. And next, you should ask for feedback. Ask for advice. It's very rare that young people actually do this. This person will tell you what they think you can be doing to have the best career, to have the best relationship for them. Say, what can you be doing better? What can you be doing differently to do this or do that? To get into the right college program or graduate program or to get into the company that you want to work for. Ask for their feedback. Ask for their advice. Go out and seek it. And finally, this is very important, commit to the process. A lot of mentors will tell you that people come to them and say, hey, I want you to be my mentor. And then they give them tips, they sort of build a little relationship, and in two or three months, that person has vanished because it's work. You have to put in the time to build that relationship. You have to commit to having the best future career as possible. And so a lot of mentors are reluctant to give any new mentee their time because they're not totally confident that this person is gonna be around in a year or two's time. Do the things that you say you're gonna do, actually strive to grow, and know that you're gonna learn and fail along the way, but commit to it, guys. It's gonna be so worth it in the end. You have to see the light at the end of the tunnel and know where you're trying to go in your career, whatever it is, and stick it out and put in the hard work to build this relationship and learn from this mentor as much as possible along the way. Hey, 1% Nation, I hope you enjoyed that video about how you can find a mentor. If this helped you, consider subscribing because I release videos two times a week for engineering success. If you have a question, leave a comment and as always, Thanks for watching the 1% Engineer Show, guys, and stay hungry on your quest to become a 1% Engineer. Cheers!